you just bear with. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness. Lotion. Cream. Lotion. Oh, my nail just chipped. My sister's gonna kill me. She painted them and she has a process and I think I've just destroyed things. <laughs> Today's video is a quick little review and it is about the Lush Sesame Suntan Lotion. I needed a new SPF lotion and this one was half price so I was like why not? This is the 100 gram bottle. Don't know if they actually do other sizes. It's SPF 10 which is low and to be honest I might not have bought this in the summer because it's SPF 10 and normally I go for SPF 15 at least. If I can't find SPF 30 then it's always 15 but I figured I'd give this a try because it seems to be Lush's first SPF product. It's a toasted sesame oil scented lotion with sunscreens sunscreens to protect you from harmful UV rays. It contains walnut leaf infusion and cocoa butter to condition the skin and aloe vera to keep you cool. Dope. I kind of like that it smells a bit nutty. Anyway, but obviously if you've got no allergies, then I would avoid this product. I'm sure you know that for yourself. Another reason why I wanted to buy a natural SPF was because the majority of sun protection that is sold to us in stores today is effective, but is harmful to aquatic life, is harmful to the environment, more specifically to the coral reefs, which are hugely important features of our environment. As we also know, sun protection is very important. So I've really been on the hunt to find natural SPFs. Most of us use sun protection, as you should, but using the right ones, the healthy ones, I feel like is also key. So far I feel like this one, it's all right, it's not bad. I quite enjoy using it because it's been winter time and my skin gets really super dry in the winter because I have combination dry and oily skin. It kind of helps to balance out my skin when it's super cold and it's windy and my skin is just crying for moisture and just like, suffering. You only need a really small amount and you spread it quite thinly. I feel like when it goes on initially it can be quite oily. Not massively but there's definitely a bit of an oil sheen there but it dissipates fairly quickly so that's why I don't mind. If you have dry skin then maybe that's something that you won't experience necessarily but mine's kind of more in the middle of combination oily and dry so I get a bit of both especially in my forehead area, nose and chin. T-zone. In terms of the low SPF it's probably something you'd need to reapply because it's got SPF in it, but I I don't know if it's good or bad. I don't reapply my face cream. When you're out and about, it's not really something you're thinking about necessarily in my experience. I'm saying all of this and it says right here, um, top up regularly, ideally at least every two hours for effective skin hydration and prote protection from the sun. There you go, listen to the instructions, not to me. It's supposed to last quite a while, it was made July last year. The use by date is the 16th of September this year, so this, yo, this I feel like is going to last me quite a while, especially because you use such a small amount. I mean, I'd recommend it, especially maybe for someone who has dry skin. I think this is a product worth trying, but if you have oily skin, I would say just be cautious. Other than that, it's a good product. I haven't rated it. So far, I'll give it like three and a half stars. Yeah yeah for the winter time i'm not sure how this would fare in the summer but maybe i'll do an update we'll see we'll see how this works out i hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative if not can't help no i'm joking if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also check out all of my other videos i've done some of which will be around here in the meantime see you next time thanks for watching